Royal Family Warrant, Meghan Markle has documents to back up every claim made to Oprah. Meghan Markle can back up with documents everything she has said during her bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, her friend and broadcaster Gail King has claimed. Ms. King issued a stark warning to Buckingham Palace yesterday as she appeared on CBS This Morning. The broadcaster shared key details from a conversation with Meghan and Prince Harry, including news the Duke of Sussex held unproductive conversations with Prince Charles and Prince William over the weekend. And, she added, she has evidence of every claim made during her groundbreaking chat with Oprah. She said, Meghan has documents to back up everything that she said on Oprah's interview. Everything. During the landmark two-hour-long interview, Meghan said she was not provided help by the palace after revealing she was feeling suicidal during her first pregnancy. Meghan also claimed there were discussions concerning how dark the skin of her firstborn would be. These conversations, she told Oprah, were carried out in tandem with talks over whether Archie would get a title and security. Prince Harry also made sensational claims while speaking to Oprah, saying his father had stopped taking his calls while discussing his plans for the future in late 2019. The Duke also claimed he was cut off financially by his family in the first quarter of 2020, at the same time he and Meghan were officially stepping down as full-time working royals. In a video released on CBS this morning the day after the interview was aired in the U.S., Harry was also seen lashing out at royal aides in a clip not included in the primetime special. Recalling he had agreed to meet the Queen in early January 2020 upon returning from Canada to discuss his Megxit plan, the Duke said that, upon landing in the UK, he received a message from the monarch's office saying she would be busy all week and was no longer able to see him. Oprah chimed in saying, after she had just invited you? Yes. The Queen is busy. She is busy all week, do not come up here. Okay, so I ranged her from Frogmore that night and said, I was thinking of coming anyway, but I hear you are now busy. And she said, yes, there is something in my diary that I didn't know I had. And I said, what about the rest of the week? And she said, that's busy now as well. I didn't want to push because I kind of knew what was going on, and then later that night, Prince Harry was interrupted by a stunned Oprah, who asked whether the Queen isn't free to do what she wants. The Duke of Sussex replied, When you are head of the firm, there are people around you that give you advice. And what has also made me very sad is that some of that advice has been really bad. Following the Sussexes' interview with Oprah, Prince William was the first member of the royal family to answer the questions of a reporter. During an engagement in London, he told the press he had not spoken with his brother yet, before saying the royal family is very much not a racist one. The brothers eventually spoke over the phone during the weekend, as first revealed by the Sunday Times and later confirmed by Ms. King. The U.S. broadcaster also said, the word I was given was that those conversations were not productive. But they are glad that they have at least started a conversation. And I think what is still upsetting to them is the palace keeps saying they want to work it out privately, but yet, they believe these false stories are coming out that are very disparaging against Meghan, still. Ms. King added, no one in the royal family has talked to Meghan yet, at this particular time. And said, I was thinking of coming anyway, but I hear you are now busy. And she said, yes, there is something in my diary that I didn't know I had. And I said, what about the rest of the week? And she said, that's busy now as well. I didn't want to push because I kind of knew what was going on, and then later that night, Prince Harry was interrupted by a stunned Oprah, who asked whether the Queen isn't free to do what she wants. The Duke of Sussex replied, when you are head of the firm, there are people around you that give you advice. And what has also made me very sad is that some of the advice has been really bad. Following the Sussexes interview with Oprah, Prince William was the first member of the royal family to answer the questions of the reporter. During an engagement in London, he told the press he had not spoken to his brother yet, before saying the royal family is very much not a racist one. The brothers eventually spoke over the phone during the weekend, as first revealed by the Sunday Times and later confirmed by M. King. 
The U.S. broadcaster also said, The word I was given was that those conversations were not productive. But they are glad that they have at least started a conversation. And I think what is still upsetting to them is the palace keeps saying they want to work it out privately, but yet, they believe these false stories are coming out that are very disparaging against Meghan, still. Ms. King added, no one in the royal family has talked to Meghan yet, at this particular time.